I'm speaking to you pierside of USS Constitution, the oldest commissioned ship afloat in the world. The decks and lines of this proud ship speak to our storied past, and the sailors who operate her reveal the strength of our future. We must always look to our wake to help chart our future course, which is why today I am honored to announce several ship names steeped in our history to inspire our future. The first is USS Chesapeake, a Constellation class frigate named for one of the storied first six frigates of our great Navy. Like Constitution and Constellation, the first Chesapeake was a mighty sailing ship that declared our nation a maritime power. She served with honor against the Barbary pirates and against the British Royal Navy. Unfortunately, in 1813, during her engagement with HMS Shannon, Chesapeake was captured, later recommissioned as HMS Chesapeake. I recently traveled to England where I was privileged to retrieve a piece of the original Chesapeake from Chesapeake Mill in Hampshire. That piece will soon reside in the new National Museum of Naval History. The new USS Chesapeake, FFG-64, will proudly carry on the legacy of that name into the new era of great power competition. Joining her in the fleet will be USS Robert E. Semanic, ESB-7. This expeditionary sea-based ship continues the honored legacy of warriors from the sea, exemplified by her namesake, Private First Class Robert Ernest Semanic. Private Semanic earned the Medal of Honor during the Korean War when he selflessly dove onto a grenade to save his fellow Marines. He stands in the unbroken line of heroes, extending from the early Marines who once stood in the fighting tops of the very ship behind me, to the Marines today holding the line around the world and those who will deploy from this ship for years to come. I also want to honor the memory of our silent service warriors who served beneath the waves. That's why I'm announcing today that the next Virginia-class attack submarine will be named USS Silversides, SSN, 807. The first Silversides completed 14 tours beneath the Pacific waves spanning the entire length of World War II. She inflicted heavy damage on enemy shipping, saved down aviators, and even drew enemy fire to protect a fellow submarine. Those who run silent and deep in the new attack submarine will inherit a proud legacy and the capabilities to forge a strong future for our nation and for our allies. And finally, I'm pleased to announce the naming of a new amphibious transport dock, USS Pittsburgh, LPD-31. As a proud resident of the Keystone State, I know that Pittsburgh is a proud city with a strong legacy of service to our nation. And the name USS Pittsburgh has served the Navy well, from the Union gunboat that seized a Confederate battery to the World War I cruiser that helped launch naval aviation to the heavy cruiser that supported the landings during World War II at Iwo Jima. It was on this third Pittsburgh that sailors twice demonstrated extraordinary seamanship, first by towing the flaming aircraft carrier Franklin to safety, and then later surviving the loss of their own bow in a mighty typhoon. I am confident that the crew of the future USS Pittsburgh will demonstrate the same excellence in support of amphibious and littoral operations around the world. Together, these ships will strengthen our Navy and carry on our sacred mission to secure the sea lanes, stand by our allies, and protect our nation against all adversaries. I thank all who are designing and building these ships with the same care and ingenuity of American shipwrights who gave USS Constitution behind me her famous name, Old Ironsides. And I want to thank all who will serve aboard these ships in protection of our great United States. I wish you all fair winds and following seas and Godspeed in your adventure.